Hi, Nick Granville here. I thought I'd do a quick lesson on um, improvisation. So I'm going to go do a series of 10 lessons with a bunch of tips on different things you can do to work on your improvising. Now, one thing that I notice a lot with a lot of players is that they tend to play too many root notes. It's understandable when you practice your scales and your different things, you're going to start from the root notes. So that's why we tend to finish and start on root notes and do all of that sort of stuff. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with playing root notes, but after a while it gets pretty boring. So what you need to do is to work on ways of getting around playing too many root notes. And one great thing you can do is work on a particular exercise that I do with my students. And what you can do is try playing something like a blues, but making a rule of playing no root notes. The bass player's got the root note, the piano player's probably going to have the root note. So if we're playing a B flat blues, we can't play B flat when it's B flat. All right, when we get to an E flat chord, B flat is now good, but E flat isn't. When we get to C minor, we can now can't play C, but B flat and E flat are good, so on and so on. So I'll give an example of that. This is a B flat blues. So you can see that there was a couple of times that I played a B flat note, but generally for the most part I didn't play B flat on the B flat chord, I didn't play E flat on the E flat chord, didn't play so on and so on. Uh, that's a good way of working on your improvising, um, and it's actually quite difficult to do because we tend to want to anchor things with those root notes, but they're the least interesting note as I said. So I hope you found that tip useful. Look me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll be providing more tips coming very soon. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers, my name's Nick Granville.